Hi guys, so we're going to look at solving quadratics using this formula. It's called the quadratic formula and it works for any quadratic at any time. You can always use this method. So it's a long formula that we get from completing the square of standard form. So we're not going to do that, but it's negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac and we take this whole thing divided by 2a. So all of this ABC is coming from a quadratic equation in what we call standard form. So this, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, this is called standard form. And we take a quadratic that we're looking at, so X squared, minus 16x plus 64 equals zero. And we're gonna pull A, B, and C out of that. So A is the number next to x squared. So for this one, there's a, the invisible one, A is one. B is the number next to x. And we take the sign with it, so it's negative 16. And C is for the constant, it's the number without a variable, and so this would be positive 64. So I'm going to rewrite the quadratic formula, but I'm going to replace A, B, and C. So I have negative, and then B is negative 16, plus or minus, square root, B squared, but B is negative 16, so I'm replacing B, minus 4 times A times C. C64, A is 1, all over 2 times A, which is 1. All right, so that's a lot. So when we simplify this big thing, we start with the square root. This section, I'm gonna put in my calculator. Okay, so I have the square root. So I'm gonna go to Desmos. I have the square root of negative 16 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 64. So notice how I copied it in exactly like we had it written down. I didn't change anything. And I get 0. So I'm going to replace this whole thing with 0. So now if x equals negative, negative becomes a positive 16, plus or minus 0, all divided by 2. Now from this point you would split the plus or minus. You would do 16 plus 0 divided by 2, 16 minus 0 divided by 2. For this particular problem though, that works out to be 8 on both of them. So this equation just has one solution at 8. But most quadratics have two solutions. There's some that have one and some that have two. Or sorry, zero. Most of them have two. Okay, so let's do another one. So first, I'm going to just copy down the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. And then I'm going to remember my standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So when I bring down what I have here, I don't have equals 0, I have equals 3. 
So I'm going to have to do some rearranging. I'm going to subtract the 3 from both sides. So I have 3x squared plus 4x minus 3. So I have that equal 0. So now I'm in standard form. Now I'm going to identify a, b, and c. So I can put that in the quadratic formula. So a is the number next to x squared, which is 3. b is the number next to x, which is 4. And c is the one all by itself, which is negative 3, because we had to subtract it over. OK, so now plug it in. So x equals negative b is 4 plus or minus the square root of b which is 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 3 times c which is negative 3 all divided by 2 times a which is 3. And we're going to do exactly what we did last time. I'm just going to focus on this part with the square root. This is going in my calculator. So when I rewrite it, I'm still going to have x equals, I'm still going to have negative 4 plus or minus. I'm just replacing what goes here. And then it's going to be divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. So I'm simplifying the square root. And I'm just going to put that in my calculator, just like I did last time. Square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 3. So I typed it in just like I wrote it, and we get 7.21. So this number becomes 7.21. And then the last step is to make sure we get a plus answer and a minus answer. So I like to split it like this. I have negative 4 plus 7.21 divided by 6 negative 4 minus 7.21 divided by 6. And we're going to calculate that. So when I calculate that, I first have to do find out the numerator. That's order of operations. And then divide by the 6. So 0.535. I can see that right there. And then negative 4 minus 7.21. And I'm going to take that answer and divide it by 6. So negative 1.868. would be 6, 9 when I round. You can see it right here. So this one, I have two answers, but it's asking me to check as with a graph. So I'm going to go to Desmos Graphing, which is a different calculator. 3x squared plus 4x. You can put equals 3, or we can put our standard form in there. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer. So if I have an original, there's my negative 1.8 and my 0.535. So remember what we're doing is we're solving for the x-intercepts. So even if you put it in like that, you're going to get the same thing. Without the minus zero, you're still going to get the same thing. Okay, so that's how we solve using the quadratic formula. It's always a good idea to pull up a graph and check your answers. 
but this is a way we can solve any quadratic at any time. Okay, so if you have more questions, ask me or Miss.